Hello everybody. I'm here in beautiful sunny San Diego for the 13th annual ISTA Sexuality and Consciousness Conference. Three days workshops on everything from sex magic to how nutrition supports sexuality. What a setting. So join me on this incredible three-day journey. Can't wait to share it with you. Here, last day of the San Diego conference with Crystal Don Morris, my teacher and mentor. I love you. I met Crystal in Sedona in 2012 when I started my journey in sacred sexuality and sexual healing. I feel like I'm on another journey with another woman at the driving and we have to be passive. But I'm such an alpha dog and driving is such an alpha thing. I think women, I think a lot of women would love to give up that control and really be in a place of just being the, the love and light that they, and the beauty that they are. You know, to have a man who can really show up. And that doesn't mean all every moment of every day, but just in moments when you can really have that showing up and then that, it really being able to relax into that. Because uh, Crystal lives like in ecstasy all the time. So right now she's just like bubbling <laughs> from her nether regions all the way up to her third eye chakra, <laughs> outer crown. She's like, like, and then she's just trying to drive. We're going to have her undivided attention so she could tell us about what's coming up for Montreal because July 25th to August 1st, 2014, we have our first Awakening to Erotic Freedom Retreat, which will be taking place in St. Lucie at a beautiful um, Centre de Ressourcement, uh, Resourcing Centre. And uh, which is called Santra Kio, which is on the lake, a lot of land, a lot of place for us to be on the land and not only uh, in a room to be with Pachamama. So that's gonna be fun. So we're really excited about this um, retreat format where we'll have we'll have that time to really dive deep and and really get into this expanded state of consciousness to really open our let down our defenses and really open up our hearts uh, drop into that really present moment awareness and really be able to explore the essence of erotic freedom and what does that mean and how do we live it every moment it's all about changing ourselves right the more we drop into ourselves the more we come to know ourselves the more we can let go that which does not serve and be living more in ease and happiness and you know, eroticism and bliss comes out of that. So this morning, I wake up, I have a beautiful conversation with Crystal, and the vision for the next generation of erotic freedom, which is perfect, <laughs> appears. And on that note, welcome to our life. sexuality they're still very contracted and, and diluted and that 